Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I have been thinking about doing this video for a little while. I really like to watch anything nail related. You guys have probably heard me say that I like to watch certain types of videos seven million times. But I really do like to watch what people have in their nail caddies and I have picked up some tips from watching what other people have in their nail caddies. So I decided to do a nail caddy video. Uh, there's a couple times that I go out of the screen when I'm talking to you about what's in there. I am sorry about that. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, I know I should be using my tripod, but I'm kind of too lazy to reset it up. So we're just going to use it handheld and hopefully I don't make anybody sick. So let's start over here on this part. I have a toothbrush for if I have any um, skin discoloration. You can use whitening toothbrush to get that off or just any scrubbing that I need to do around the nails. I have a four-sided uh, buffer file there. This little lint roller is to get the extra paint off of my stampers if I'm using a stamper. I've got a couple random pens and a bunch of nail files. Some dotting tools in here. Um, this is a great little tool. This is a crystal file but it's pointed so if you need to get around the edges where your cuticles are up on your nail or something or you have a hard to remove spot that you don't want to clip the cuticle this is great for that. I've got some nail brushes just all in the little kit there. An extra file and scissors. have some extra swatching wheels here and some wax paper for if I need to get some nail polish on something for like a dot -a -cure. Um, This is just, I saw somebody on YouTube do this. This is just a plastic bottle that was empty and if I take my nail caddy somewhere besides my desk when I'm doing my nails then I use the I use the this to put my cotton balls or my looks like I have mostly the felt wipes in there right now but whatever it is then I put it in here so it doesn't make a mess on anything else and so it doesn't stink. Um, I have some tweezers there too I didn't mention for if I need to get something when my nails are wet or if I'm positioning something for nail art. I have, I told you guys I use painter's tape when I tape my nails because it works pretty good for me. I also have this um, California Mango Gel which is really good for my cuticles and when my hands are especially dry I will put this on my hands and then put on some um, plastic gloves, just the kind you can get at like, we get ours at Sam's Club, but they have cooking ones at grocery stores too. And I just let that sit for a while and that really helps my hands, I really like that. And then I think I've told you before, the painter's tape, I just cut whatever designer strips I want and use that to put on my nails. So I just have a random buffer back there and some paper towels in case I need it. And I have some of the thinner lint free cloths here and some more felt squares and some cotton balls in there. This is my non acetone nail polish remover which is what I've been using more recently. This is my acetone and I've got it in this little squirt bottle to help me from making a mess. And then I have this little glass dish. Um, I can't remember what it's called right now but I have this that I just put a little bit of nail acetone remover in. Sorry for moving away from the screen. I put a little bit of acetone remover in there and use it with my cleanup brush when I'm cleaning up my nails. This is just a elf one that you can get for a dollar. I actually paid 50 cents because I bought them on the website when they were on sale. And then I have some random top coats. I have my matte one in there. I have some Cutica solid gold cuticle oil. I have a cuticle pusher that I keep in there. This little tiny nail file fits in there pretty good. Cuticle nippers. This is Top Coat. This is a bottle that I actually bought empty. Um, and I refill it right now. I think there's Glisten and Glow Top Coat in there, which is not my 100% favorite, but I usually refill bottles and I like that this one holds a lot and it's pretty easy to get to the bottom of. And then another one I have this Fast and Hard Top Coat, which I'm still trying out, but this is a scented one. It's Cosmic Candy. It smells good. Just some hand lotion. These are the 
squares that have the cotton in there. They're actually for taking off gel polish, but if you put acetone or a remover on this and wrap it around your nails, it's uh, really good for taking off glitter too. Just a notebook for writing stuff down. Let me see. Have a nail oil pen over here. These are the um, INM Northern Lights. So they have the glitter in there. This one's the gold one. And this one um, is probably on the... Oh, sorry. I keep going off the screen. This one is the silver one. And you just need to shake them up before you use them. This is another top coat. This is the um, hoof lacquer. And it's a thinner one that you can get at Sally Beauties. Another super glue here. This is my liquid latex. It's an old Sesh Beat bottle because I believe I've mentioned in a video before I buy the 4 ounce um, body latex off of Amazon and I just transfer it into here because it's 7 million times cheaper. It's like $6 for the 4 ounce bottle. Then I have some quick dry drops. These ones are Zoya ones but I use other drops too. This is an OPI bottle but it's my um, CND sticky base coat. That's my favorite base coat. I have some of the Cuccio nail dehydrator for before I put on my base coat if my nail beds are a little bit greasy. I have the Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover. This one I just like because it's gel. It says to leave it on for like 15 seconds or something. I always leave it on for more than that and then I will scrape around the edges with the back part of this cuticle pusher and scrape off the dry skin that builds up around my cuticles. Um, randomly in here I have the little nail clips for the lint-free lint cloths when I take off like glitter polish. Um, I just have a random white nail polish in there. This one is Pure Ice um, Superstar. I have a peel off base coat. This one's UNT. It works okay for me. It's not 100% magical. Let me see. Oh, I have this uh, Dury Rejuva coat, which is supposed to make your nails grow faster. I haven't actually tried that yet because I also heard that they don't grow strong, and if my nails are breaking, and they're growing back less strong than they already are. I'm not sure that's a good plan to use. I have some makeup sponges for if I'm doing gradients or something for nail art. I have Sesh Restore here because I do use Sesh Beat. Um, I, I rotate my top coats. I have a bunch that I use. This is a base coat. It's the Ridge Feeling um, Nail Tech one. Gosh, out of the screen again. I'm so sorry. So this is the base coat. This is the Nail Tech Ridge Filler one. It works okay. I do like that it's got a little bit of color to it because then if I'm doing something with a not quite opaque background, I can use this for that and that's nice. I have some Orally Thinner Drops. I just got these off of Amazon. They're not very expensive. Now I'm making a mess of my thing. This is the brushable super glue that I bought when my Orly one that came with my nail rescue kit glued itself shut. This works okay with it. I've tried it. And then my nail rescue powder and the buffer that comes with it. And let me see. Oh gosh, I can't get it out. And then another regular super super glue. So sometimes I do change up what's in here. I do have the Naked Manicure Hydration System on my desk and depending on what my nail needs are, I've got that. I've got this gelish top coat, so if I'm needing something that needs a thicker top layer, I'll put that one in. So I told you that I rotate through my top coats, so I have those. And I've been using this Nail Teaks Formula 2 to try and strengthen my nails because they were having a rough time this winter. Um, I'm not quite halfway through it. I don't think it's magical, but it's probably not hurting anything, so I've still been using it. So, I know that this is messy, but I kind of like to see what's in people's nail caddies. So, hopefully this was interesting for you. If you've got something different than what I keep in here that's helpful for you and your nail caddy, 
um, let me know. All right, guys, I hope that that was interesting for you. If you have something that you keep in your nail caddy that you didn't see in mine, let me know, because I'm always looking for tips and pointers from you guys. Thank you for spending your time with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.